In this video clip, I will show you how to calculate volume and cost of cement and labor for doing a cement job. Uh, we'll use the example of uh, the cement wall out behind the building that is in need of repair. Um, so if we know the width of the existing wall is 5 inches and the average height of the wall, let's say is 28 inches. We have, if we measure several places and then find the average, and then we measure the length is 50 feet. So if we have those three dimensions, we can find the volume of cement that is needed to replace that. Um, concrete is ordered in cubic yards, so let's put all three of those dimensions in units of yards that are 12 inches in a foot, 3 feet in a yard. So if I take my 5 inches and multiply by 1 foot per 12 inches, the, tw the inches on the bottom, how do I know they're on the bottom? Because they need to be able to cancel the units of inches. Inches divided by inches, those units cancel. One yard for every three feet. I know the feet go on bottom because they need to cancel the feet up there. So the only units we have left are yards. So I take my 5, divide by 12, divide by 3, that gives me 0.14. So that's a very small part of a yard. I do that same thing with the height, 28 inches divided by 12 inches divided by 3 feet per yard will give me 0.8 yards. So that's close to a yard, but not quite. <clears throat> I do that uh, same thing with feet, 50 feet divided by 3 feet per yard, units cancel, we have yards, 17 yards. So then I can multiply all three of those numbers and get cubic yards. 0.14 times 0.8 times 17 gives me 1.9 cubic yards, yards cubed. And then if it costs $100 for every cubic yard, then I multiply 1.9 cubic yards times $100 per cubic yard the units cancel, <coughs> so we just have it, units of dollars. 1.9 times 100 is 190 dollars. So if we want to estimate the cost of the labor to remove the cement, set up the forms, pour and finish the cement, and strip the forms, we could try to um, estimate how much time it would take for each of those steps. Let's say it takes two people half a day to bust up and haul off the cement. And then it takes two people a half day to set up the forms. So two times one half. So there's two people and it takes half a day each. So together that would be like one day. And we do that same thing with putting up the forms. I mean, it, if that makes more sense to write that as 2 over 2 and then convert it to 1, that may be helpful if, if you didn't see why we got a 1 out of that. Let's say it takes two people half a day to pour and finish the cement. And then half a day for one person to strip and oil the forms. So we have, from the previous slide, we had two days. And now we have one and a half. So if I add those all together, it gives me three and a half. I'll write that as 3.5 days. Well. If each day is eight, hour, eight hours long and I pay $15 per, per hour, 
let's say we have 3.5 days times 8 hours per day. That will tell us how many days, or how many hours, sorry, that would take. And that, so we'll just do some longhand multiplication. 8 times 3.5, 8 times 5 is 40, 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 is 28, one decimal place, so 28 hours total to do the job. And then I take my 28 hours, multiply that by the $15. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 1 plus 4 is 12. Move over one place. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So 420. $420. So I think with the cement, it was what, $190 for the cement, $420 for the labor. $610 should be the total cost for the job. The labor part was the $420. Then the cement was the $190 for a total of $610.